Somebody was telling me you was trying to learn how to ride motorcycles. Come on, follow me. What is up, guys? It's your boy Chase One Up. We're going to do a how to video. This is going to be how to part one, series one. We are going to start with how do you ride a street bike? Well, my friend, I gotcha. This right here that we're working with today is a Suzuki GSXR 750. It is a 2012 model. So we're going to start with how do we turn the motorcycle on? Well, first things first. On Jixers, you got to kick up the kickstand before it'll engage. Next thing you're going to want to do is move the bike around. As you can see, it feels like it's hitting rock bottom. It doesn't want to move. Go down here. Shift half shift up that'll put you in neutral you see how I'm rolling backwards now or forwards once you realize you're in uh, neutral we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit the switch it's gonna do its little display swinging over to the right swinging back down it is now indicating to you you are in neutral all right that's good next thing you're gonna want to do hit the on switch All right, what you just heard was the fuel pump getting ready to uh, uh, feed the bike with fuel. So now that's engaged on Suzuki lineup, you have to pull in the clutch or it will not turn on. Will not turn on. So let's pull in the clutch, hit the lightning bolt for the power, and it's on. We got power. You want to make sure you hold the button down long enough to make sure it's fully on, and you can let go of it. All right nothing can happen to you as long as you're in neutral you can rev it all you want it ain't going nowhere next thing you're going to want to do pull in the clutch right here then you've got the shifter down on your left foot if you want to engage first gear which you should if you're trying to take off you want to make sure you press down i press down you see how the neutral light went away first gear popped up all right here we go see hands still on clutch i can do ever whatever i want it ain't going to take off that's your safety if things get crazy you pull in the clutch all right next thing if you want to start to take off go ahead and disengage the clutch lightly just to get a feel for it you see how it's starting to pull away it's starting to pull away now if you don't give it any throttle and you try to pull away you're gonna kill the bike. So now you gotta start over. You don't have to put it in neutral, but it's the best thing, best practice for a beginner. I'm gonna go ahead and start it in first gear. We got the clutch engaged. We're gonna go ahead and start it. All right, that's your RPMs right there. So we're gonna to wanna to take off a little bit and we're gonna give it a little bit of throttle. Just a little bit goes a long ways. So let's get into it. You're going to want to disengage the clutch a little bit. As soon as you feel it to pull, give it a little bit of throttle. You see how it takes off? As soon as you pull that clutch in, it's going to stop. So if you think things are getting out of control and it's, it's taking off, just pull in the clutch. And you can either grab the front brake just a little bit, or you can hit the uh, foot brake on the right. So let's back back up again. We're going to go ahead and take off one more time. We're going to slowly give a little bit of gas and we're going to let out on the, the clutch a little bit all right that's how you do it and you just back up all right you want to put it back in neutral get your foot underneath the shifter and just halfway pull up until you see that green light comes on so now you're good Put the kickstand down, turn the bike off. You've successively started a motorcycle and took off in first gear. Let's go ahead and get on the street and I will show you what that looks like when you start shifting through the gears. Kickstand up, power on, key on, ignition, we've got power. All right, we're gonna go ahead and kick it down one. That will go to first gear. Now we're going to gently let out on the clutch until we move forward we are now going to enter the street 
All right, your feet should be on the pegs at this point. Don't be dragging your feet anymore. All right, we are in first gear. We're needing to excel and get faster and smoother without killing the RPMs going really, really fast. So we're gonna go ahead and accelerate. We're gonna take our left hand. We're gonna pull in on the clutch and shift up hard one time. Let out on the clutch gently, give a little bit of throttle. You wanna do it pretty quickly, that way it feels smoother. All right, next gear we're gonna hit. Second, pull in again. Third, indicates third gear. And I have no headlights. <laughs> we might have to start at the other end of this tunnel. So we're gonna go ahead and switch up to fourth gear. We're in third right now, we're gonna switch up to fourth. Pull in the clutch, lift up on your foot quickly, let out. You've done it again, fourth gear. All right, so now if you wanna downshift, you're gonna do the opposite. You're gonna pull in the clutch, and you're gonna press down one. That brings us down to third. We're gonna go ahead and pull in the clutch again. Down second. See how the RPMs got higher? Go again. All right, we're all the way in sixth now. Let's go ahead and downshift back down. Oh, and this is where the auto blimp comes in handy. If well, if not auto blimp, you can get something that's auto blimp. But it's nice to blimp your your throttle before go downshifting. That way you can rev match the speed that you're going and it makes for a smoother transition. I'm going a little bit too slow right now to do a good demonstration, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna get up to speed. We're gonna pull in the clutch, blimp it, go down. Pull in the clutch and go down. One more time, pull in the clutch. Oops. Go down. All right, we're gonna have to pass this guy. This is just too slow for me. Okay, we're gonna do an accelerated downshift, so we're gonna get up to about 80. And we're gonna let you listen to what that downshift sounds like. Let me get a straightaway. It's hard to find a straightaway in the twisties. I'm gonna go ahead and downshift. <laughs> first gear all the way down is first gear now we're going to take off and go through the gears well don't fall shift to neutral like i just did <laughs> that's embarrassing it's going to happen to you you just wait and see mark my words you're going to hit neutral trying to show off and you're going to be like oh my gosh my friends are going to laugh me out now it's all good hang on let's try this again Everybody's done it. Dang, there's just no straightaways. <clears throat> What's up, guys? All right, I'm gonna try it right here. All right, we're in first gear. We're gonna go ahead and shift. play with the clutch and the throttle a little bit as time goes on and you'll start to get better and you don't blimp the throttle when you're uh, when you're up shifting you only do that when you're down shifting because you need to rev match the speed you're going I'm gonna go ahead and pull over back down to first pulling the clutch coast slow down with your brakes make sure you're in neutral before you let go of the clutch you're good to go Turn bike off, hit the kickstand, and there you have it. You just rode a bike for the first time. Congratulations. If you think this video was helpful, please consider smashing that like button. Helps me out a lot. Gets my name noticed out there on the old YouTube. And uh, if you got any questions, put it down in the comment section down below. And uh, I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.